Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today is all about a grilled cheese hot dog. We added our famous chili. If you guys wanna see this grilled cheese hot dog, here we go. All right, so before we get started, let's talk about what we're doing. We have our famous chili sauce. It's actually already available on the flattopking.com. We made it, I don't know, roughly last year, made some chili dogs out of it. So the idea of today is we're gonna make that chili sauce and make it with a grilled cheese hot dog. It should be fantastic, okay? First things first, let's start heating up our stainless steel pan. While we're doing that, let's talk about our pan. You guys might have noticed that uh, the last few months on our channel, we've actually been cooking with this skillet and other ones, pots, pans, not only here, but also on pellets and pits. The brand is called Caraway. It's a non-toxic kitchenware brand that offers pots, pans, bakeware, pretty much anything in the kitchen. I think they have like 65,000 five-star reviews. They're getting up there. All right, while our pan's heating up, to be honest with you, it seems like a lot of people might be intimidated by stainless steel. No fret, no worries. Uh, you just wanna heat it up on like a medium, medium low. Um, with a stainless steel set, it actually comes with a lifetime warranty. And that's important because I'm telling you, if you take care of these pans, uh, they can last a lifetime. Um, they're very easy to handle. I'll show you right here one thing I like about them. It's going to start beeping on me. But this little groove right here in the handle, it fits comfortably in your hand, uh, especially when you're dealing with pots and pans on the griddle. We get asked all the time what kind of pots and pans you use on the griddle. And I say be careful with those handles. Your handle fits perfectly right here. So it's kind of like a stopper so your hand doesn't get too far down. Um, it's actually made out of five-ply stainless steel lightweight material. Um, if you notice here on some of the uh, units that we can show you later, it's actually got a handle. So when you're pouring stuff out, you got very good control over it. Let me show you my favorite thing about the cookware set. It has to be one of the neatest pan storage systems I've ever seen. These holders are magnetic. They come apart so you can arrange the pots of pans however you want to. Each holder fits perfectly to its own pan. And the lids come with this cool hanger system so you can hang them inside of your cabinet space. I love the design of the organizer system. All right, this skillet's heating up nicely. I'm gonna show you a quick trick so that way you can know when your pan is ready to go. Just like we talk about butter on the griddle being a telltale sign, you take your little bottle of water, you add it to it, and it should beat up. See how it's dancing and not evaporating? That's how you know your pan's ready, and it lets us know we're ready for the ground beef. Remember, this recipe was on theflacktopking.com, so I've just got all the ingredients already measured out. Add some onion. We're gonna let this cook down until it gets soft. Just cook it in that beef fat as well. I haven't drained the beef. Uh, one pound was like 80-20, the other pound was like 85-15. Let's keep that fat in there for flavor. Alrighty, while our beef is almost ready, hey, if you're interested, check out uh, Caraway, the stainless steel cookware set. Um, you can actually save a little bit by bundling with their stainless steel set. It's already 20% off, but you can also stack the coupons and we have one ourselves. You can type in flat top king and that can save you 10%. Remember, you can stack that on top of the 20% stainless steel cookware set. All right, the ground beef and onions are done perfectly. Now we can continue with the chili sauce. Ketchup, sugar, your favorite hot sauce, tomato paste. Turn this up a little bit. We'll allow that tomato paste to cook out just for a minute. Some people say it makes a difference. I don't know. They say it takes the rawness off the tomato paste, like flour. Paprika, salt and pepper, garlic powder, cumin and onion powder, W sauce, some mustard. Incorporate those flavors in. Beef consomme and water. Obviously, you're gonna let this cook for a couple minutes. Now, it really depends on what thickness you want out of your sauce and what you're looking to gain. I want it kind of thick, because on those grilled cheese um, chili dogs, we want some consistency, right? It needs to be a little bit bolder and not as loose. That's up to you. Chili sauce is coming together nicely. You can see it's just thickening it up on us. That's what we're looking for right there. All right, so the cheese of choice today, I just picked the Cheddar Jack. Um, obviously, you can mix and match. You can do whatever you want to do. This sounded good to me, and that's what we're doing. All right, we have some bundle-length hot dogs right here. If you got that slut dog, absolutely. If not, I'm just going to score these hot dogs just like this. Not a big deal. 
what did you call it? Slot dog. Slot it, dog? You put the hot dog in there and it scores it for you. Honestly, it's just another tool. And with all the kitchen gadgets I got, it's just one less thing I've got to worry about. So we just do it by a knife. See this? You score it, opens it up a little bit. Notice I'm not going all the way through. I'm just basically just scoring them and then coming back in the other direction. And while these cook on the griddle, they're going to open up a little bit. Honey, you got to get with the hot dog scene. I guess so. We know you're a champ. Look, here we go. The sauce is still reducing. Looking fantastic. I tasted it earlier. This, I don't think it needed. This is an amazing, amazing hot dog chili recipe. Some it, people. Uh -huh, it is. Here. I was gonna say it is so much better than canned hot dog chili. Well, hopefully, a lot of stuff we make is better than canned. <laughs> Way to really put me on a pedestal, honey. But uh, some people like this consistency here. I want to go further. I want to really get the liquid out of it and really have a thickened chili. It's not the fact I like it more. It's just, I'm just thinking about this recipe here. So we have some hot dog buns. They are the, uh, what you call them, top slice. So the idea is this. We're going to open these up, stuff them with cheese, stuff them with a grilled hot dog, put cheese back on top of it, put it face side down, and let all that cheese get darkened, flip it over. And then this will kind of sink in and we'll have like be able to top it with all kinds of goodness. I'm excited. I'm excited too. I'm excited. The griddle's coming up to temp. I don't think it really matters what kind of temp you're dealing with. So we're just gonna cook these all the way through. I'm just looking to open these up just a little bit more for that max stuffage. That shredded cheese we got right here, we're gonna pack these things full. You guys can kind of see the idea we're working with here. You could just make a grilled cheese sandwich like that. Well, that's why the cheese, you know, you can add a lot of different cheeses in here if you wanted to. All right, you can see right there that just by uh, opening them up a little bit, you get a little bit more surface area. Plus they look cooler, which really won't matter. All right, I'm gonna place some dogs right in the middle here. Stuff them down really good. Hear me out. You take the, the bread, maybe brush it with a little bit of butter, melted butter, a little Italian seasoning, and then you do mozzarella cheese with Italian sausage that's already cooked, and then you make a marinara instead of this, and then all of a sudden you got like yourself a, an Italian version. You're giving know. away our secrets. We I should do know. that. All right, let's do it. Cheese. More cheese. Oh, yeah. You can't have a grilled cheese hot dog without a lot of cheese. Where are we going to fit the chili? <laughs> They might not have it's seen gonna be your a knife and fork. They might not have seen your mouth, but we know. And want to go low. Last minute change. And throw some butter down because you can't have a grilled cheese without butter. So why not? Just like butter in your bread. Yep. It doesn't take long to toast that bottom, that buttery bread. Let's set these off to the side. I didn't know a grilled cheese could smell that good. It's been a long time since we've done something like that. All right, let's cut one of these bad boys and see what happens. Before I top it with chili. Oh yeah, see all the cheese underneath it? Mmm, you got that crunchy cheese on top. Oh yeah. Like a little cheese crisp. I'm going to build one of them. You can imagine what the other ones are going to look like. So right here, we got our chili that's been cut off, allowed to thicken up a little bit. You see the consistency I'm talking about? Yes, you can keep it looser, but when it comes to something like this, I wanted a little bit of a thickness to it. And if they want it looser, you just stop cooking it sooner? Yes. 
come back and top mine with a little mustard. I'm gonna put a little jalapeno on mine because I just like it. And then we're gonna top it off with some diced onion. There we go. Ha! <laughs> God, I know that's gonna be good. All right, of course mine has jalapenos, hers doesn't. And I do want to try it without the, uh, the chili on it first. That looks good. Talk about a kid friendly. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's so good. You can already tell. You usually don't laugh in the middle of a bite. They always say you eat with your eyes. Texture is one thing, along with like the first thing that your tongue and the top of your mouth feel at the same time. So when I bit down, you get the soft buttery texture on the, outs on the outside. But this has like crackling and it's salty. This is a hell of a combination. Oh my God. And it's simple. Like I'm not even trying to overshoot my boundaries on this. Just taste a bite and let me know what you think. With a butter, with a cheese. Mm. <laughs> that is dang good. <laughs> that, that is dang good. I like it. I like the cheese. I think it just gives that balance. Mm. All right. See if we can stack this. Cause I want the mustard. Are there mustard on there? Don't I thought I was getting one of them. <laughs> Don't watch me eat this. Just take it to that. me. Yeah. We'll move the jalapeno off to the back. I don't know why more people aren't doing this. <laughs> mm. Mm. A viewer requested this and kind of like walked me through the process of how to do it. And the first thing I thought of was like, come on, mm. like a grilled cheese hot dog. Like how, you know, mm. like we can get better than that. Golly. So I tried it. Amen, brother. I appreciate you reaching out. This is legit. Obviously the chili sauce is extremely good, but I'm telling you this right here mm. is money. Mm. I'm going to go inside and enjoy it. I'm going to crack up with a cold one. Oh, this is a soda. Oh yeah, lunch. absolutely. All right, guys, there you go. If you guys are interested, hit that join button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. You can also check us out on The Girdle Group on Facebook or hit us up on Instagram. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share with your friends. Peace. Mm. I'm gonna devour this thing. <laughs> this is so stinking good. That hot dog chili. We're gonna add beans to the leftover and make regular chili. Deal? No.